Did you see that? No. That is a spring. <laughs> so I think we can conclude that you do not weigh as much as a car. Could you make a pogo stick out of this? If you weighed as much as one fourth of a car, all you would need to make this a pogo stick is a rubber boot down here, and then a... Uh, you bolt on a platform with the handle. And that's it. And then you need to gain 400 pounds. <laughs> At least. <laughs> so this is an adjustable coilover shock, which came out of an S13 or an S14 or an S15. I don't, know. S's now. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, we want to cut this in half. Typically a strut, the spring component is compressed and has a bunch of pressure behind it. But this is an adjustable coilover where we can loosen this and there's there's no pressure on that spring really. So when we cut this, it's not going to explode and seriously maim Mitchell's face. I mean, that's hopefully. This is my money maker. <laughs> hopefully. So uh, don't just go cutting any shock you find. Uh, the spring could be under a lot of tension and could I mean, I don't think there's a single video you. we've done that someone's like, I'm going to try that. Hey, we don't know that. Does this just screw all the way up? Oh yeah, that's how you adjust the, the right height. Well, now you just saw inside it. Well, no. <laughs> now we don't need to cut it. So this part just threads up onto here and then you adjust this collar, depending on what you want your right height to be. This is the adjustable portion of the- Dan, don't tell them how it works and they won't want to watch our next video. <laughs> That's just the adjustable portion of it, but what we want to do is we want to see what's inside of this chamber here where the actual strut is. It's going to have some, some sort of hydraulic fluid in there, I assume. I don't know. It sounds like they're not enough. We've got it lowered as far as it'll go to make the cut shorter and quicker. And we are going to offset our cut so that we miss that rod so that it's all held together so that we have a nice cross section and not just a million pieces falling apart. That was really gross. Let's try that again at 50% speed. Part of the channel where we get to pretend like we're learning something we didn't make it through the bottom of that ring and so that ring is just kind of pinching the entire thing together so fun fact uh the computer it doesn't have a setting for a coilover which is odd because it does have a setting for imperial stormtrooper but not coilover go figure so we had to do a little bit of guesswork and i thought Half inch mild steel, that ought to be enough, right? Which, <laughs> a cut that long of half inch mild steel would have been like five minutes long. <laughs> and we only had four times that. Quickly <laughs> with our water jet. I can choose to lower the feed rate while it's in the middle of the cut. For some of these areas, particularly right here, I had to slow it down to like 4% of the original speed we set. So I was way off. So you can tell how it works by the way that it looks. Let's spray it and see if we can get the, uh, the shock to move in and out. See if we can clean the grid out. That's gone. And it moves. I would say it's shocking. <laughs> so uh, how this works. Care to explain? So this is filled with juice. There's a little seal there. So the juice stays on this side and provides 
a resistance a to cushion. that going in. A little cushion. But the juice at the same time, it can push out of this and I think into this outside sleeve and like, I think the juice is always like flowing between the two chambers and that's kind of what gives it its bounciness. Or maybe the spring does that, I'm not sure. It might be, I don't know. <laughs> we actually have no idea what we're talking about. We just like to cut stuff in half, so. You notice here, this is like a hardened some sort of rod here. When we cut it, it was real sparky. I don't know if that's because of like a higher chrome content, if it just has to do with the fact that it's hardened. But it was it was real sparky, more than more than normal. And uh, yeah. So we should end all our videos. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you like YouTube? Do you like cars? Do you like YouTube channels about cars? I have some good news. We started a YouTube channel about cars a couple weeks ago. It's true, Dan. It's true. If you like cars, you should head over there and check it out. And yeah. And yeah. If you'd like to waste more of your time, click this video here. If you'd like to subscribe to a channel where you can waste lots of time, click here. If you're in the bathroom, click here.